you know. Sure. You 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 had mentioned uh, earlier if just because someone learns something doesn't mean they're wise to it. What is the difference between knowing like knowledge, knowing information and wisdom? I would say knowing is taking information absorbing information either through listening to it or reading about it, having it registered in your subconscious. And then when it sits in the subconscious, it's sitting there with other information. The subconscious is basically uh, a storehouse of information. It's your hard drive. And then your intellect then processes all that knowing that information and then spits it out in different ways, depending on who you're trying to entertain mm -hmm. at the party. That's knowing. Wisdom is knowledge coming in and then that knowledge being applied in a timely way. And my, my guru defined wisdom as the timely application of knowledge, oh. right? So how do I take that knowledge, apply it at the right time so that it actually creates a change in my life? It's very different than learning about awareness in the mind, going to a party and go, by the way, we had an interesting guest today on our show. Uh, he, he's a Hindu priest and he talked about awareness in the mind. Very fascinating. That's useless. That's that's <laughs> knowledge, right? Wisdom is go, is going like I go to get my car. Somebody yells at me. My awareness gets pulled to the angry air of the mind, and I go, "Oh, I learned this earlier today. I can bring my awareness back. I am not going to go to the angry air of the mind and take that up, that knowledge and apply it right now." That person is taking my awareness to an angry air of the mind. I'm bringing it back here and say, you know, he's trying to make me angry. I'm not going to go there. That's the timely application of knowledge, and that is what wisdom is. Mm -hmm.